The agriculture industry is facing a dilemma. How can we feed a growing population without exploiting the planet in the process? By 2050, the global population is expected to reach 9.7 billion. In order to feed such a significant amount of people, food production, which already takes up 37% of land on Earth, will need to increase by 60%. Agriculture is already a major contributor to climate change. It uses 70% of the world's fresh water, is responsible for 80% of the world's deforestation and a third of all greenhouse gas emissions. Unless new approaches are adopted, the amount of arable and productive land on Earth will keep declining. What's more, the geopolitical situation, supply chain disruptions and the continued economic fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic are pushing food prices to all-time highs across the globe. Encouragingly, the agricultural industry is ripe for innovation. Agritech combines AI, robotics and automated machinery to improve all elements of the farming and growing processes, making farms work smarter, not harder. So-called precision agriculture means farmers can use the latest camera technology to apply fertilizers to the unwanted plants only, ensuring crops and soil receive the exact amount of pesticides needed, rather than on a mass scale. New farming software helps track more accurate information about the weather. Drones and satellites can help scan crops and fields in order to measure, monitor and create terrain maps. And biotech solutions create advanced crops that adapt better to their environment. Meanwhile, innovatives like the European Commission's Farm to Fork strategy, which aims to reduce the use of pesticides by as much as 50%, also aim to accelerate our transition towards a more sustainable food system. If 15 to 25% of farms adopted precision agriculture, then global food production could be increased by 10 to 15% by 2030. Whilst greenhouse gas emissions and water use could be reduced by 10 and 20% respectively. These are hopeful figures and actions, not just for farmers, but for investors too. Agritech is one of the few sectors that not only survived, but thrived during the pandemic. Investment in the sector rose by 35% between 2019 and 2020. Last year, it attracted over $515 million of investments, driven by increased investor awareness on environmental and social challenges. And over the past five years, more than 3,000 agritech startups have entered the scene. One thing we do know, solving the world's food supply is no mean feat. Embracing agritech, however, as an enabler for modern farming has real potential. For many farmers and consumers across the globe, it's a tangible solution to our most pressing problems and a step in a more sustainable direction.